So I'm here to introduce to you today the active testing and monitoring integration from NetRound to CA's Agile Operations Platform, or Network and Operations from CA. In the Network Operations Platform here, NetRounds is adding the active testing and monitoring piece. We've got a device pack for the mediation manager there. This solution from NetRounds and CA actually won an innovative partnership award from EMA Research recently as well. So just a quick overview here of what the NetRounds platform actually looks like. It's made up of two components. We've got the test agents here that are out in your network, depending on your use case and your network topology. And then we have the NetRounds control center. The NetRounds control center is like a test results and analysis module. So this is sitting in the cloud or on premise in a private cloud. And this is where you're going to build your tests, see your real-time monitoring metrics, and have visibility into how your network service is performing. NetRounds is also doing layer two to seven metrics. So we're not just measuring general throughput and performance. We're also measuring throughput, loss, latency, up to video and voice quality as well. So when you're testing a new branch office deployment, for example, you're testing the service through the whole range of how the end user would be using the service. So you can do a more comprehensive testing and uh, validation. So in this demo, we're going to have a new branch office site that we are deploying. So we've got the headquarters site. In this case, it'll be in New Hampshire. And we're turning up a new um, branch office in Massachusetts. So we can either have a virtual test agent hosted on a UCPE or a embedded reflector in a thin CPE. And we'll show a little bit about both of these. So what you're seeing now is the NetRounds control center. And here we have the results of an activation test we just did for the new branch office. So this is a virtual test agent running on the UCPE at the branch in Massachusetts. So we're sending traffic bi-directionally from the headquarters site in New Hampshire down to Massachusetts and vice versa. Uh, we're doing a a pretty comprehensive test here. We're going from basic networking, doing HTTP, DNS, and a ping, and then we're going up to speed, mix, and video quality. So we're testing a whole range of services here from layer two up to layer seven. Uh, we can see here that all the steps in the test pass, these sequential steps, but we did have some issues with DNS here. So we might want to look at that before we hand the new uh, branch office service over to the customer. So now if we were using that TWAMP and the embedded reflector with a thin CPE at our branch office, we might start a TWAMP monitor so that we can monitor how that branch is performing using the embedded reflectors. So going to our monitoring here, we have a preset template that we can start, the branch office TWAMP monitor here. And we just press start. We've already chosen which reflectors and test agents we're using. And in a minute here, you'll see the traffic start to flow. So we see gray, that means there's no traffic flowing. And when the green bars start, we'll see that the traffic is starting in the monitor. To get a more comprehensive view of the monitors that you can actually run and the services you can test with NetRounds, I've got another view here showing a variety of other monitors that we could have running. And as you can see in the dashboard here, there are some errored seconds. So this is where we're violating our SLAs. And here we've got no traffic running at all. Um, users and key stakeholders can be notified through alarms and notifications so that if there's any issues that their customers may be experiencing, they can go find and fix those immediately, ideally before the customer even notices that they're having a problem. And now finally, what does this look like in CA Performance Center. How is this data ingested into CA Performance Center so that we've got one view to see how our network is performing? So this is CA Performance Center, something that you're probably very used to looking at and using. And as you can see, I mentioned here we had our headquarters site in New Hampshire, and then we have our new branch office that we've started in Massachusetts. And as you can see, all the metrics and the monitoring is coming up in the CA Performance Center dashboard, so you can see it all in one place. We've got our average arid seconds and our average rate here for performance coming into the dashboard. And we also have uh, other performance metrics and test results that we can see here. So as the final takeaway from the demo here, we can see that when we start a new branch office, it's really important to validate connectivity and your service quality that you're providing to your end customers. We can use this doing active testing and monitoring and integrating that data into CA's performance center and correlating that with the CA performance metrics. We're getting a more holistic view and better visibility on how our network services are performing. So it's very important to validate the service once you deliver it. You can use ongoing monitoring so that you can make sure you're continuously meeting those SLAs and providing to your customers the service quality that they're expecting. And then if there are any issues with the service, you can be notified right away in real time using alarms and notifications from NetRounds. And finally, resolve problems faster. Using NetRounds Active Testing, integrated with CAPM, 
you can actually do some troubleshooting sequences and correlate that data again with the CA performance metrics to pinpoint your problems and increase your mean time to resolution for any network issues that you're having.